Hello and welcome back to my videos. About this video I will show you how to install an Active Directory on a Windows 2019. So let's start to change your IP address so you have a static IP on your Active Directory server. You need to click on the Windows logo and go for your control panel. If not you have this icon you can just open the Windows logo and type control panel. Inside here you click on the network and the internet and the, sh the sharing center and inside here you can click on your ethernet and the properties and we go down to disable IPv6 and go into your IPv4 and be sure you have this as default and click OK and click close and now we need to have an identifier on our hostname on our server as default your server probably have a, a random name. I will open PowerShell as administrator and then I will type hostname. See my name is uh, win and something random here. Now I need to change this rename computer and new name and I'll call it AD01 and then I want to restart my computer and click OK and then my computer will restart. And now when the server is restarted, I will confirm about our hostname is changed. So I just open the command prompt and type yes and I want to type hostname again. And you can see my hostname is AD01. And why I call it 01 is because maybe I want a secondary uh, active directory in the in the future. But for now it's fine. I will uh, go into the Windows logo and open the server manager. In this server manager we need to add our Active Directory. So go for the tools and we need to, sorry, the manager and add rules and feature and go to the next and role based, that's fine. And we have this server, it's our own server so that's fine. We'll go for the next one and I will go for the Active Directory domain server. And add features and next and be sure the group policy management is it's uh, enabled we need it so next one and next and just install this one can take a little while depends on your server now when we are done we can click close here and then you can see the little uh, flag alert here just click on it and then we can promote this server to a domain controller when we are open here, we need uh, to add it to the new forest and the root domain, I will call it pnk.local uh, here. And then the next one should be the forest functionality level. You can change this if you want, but I will keep it on 2060 level. You need to type your the domain controller password and then I will click next. We just click next for this and we're waiting to the NetBIOS here is pick up the, the name. In my case it's a PNK and then I click next and default I will just leave this. If you need other places you can just change this if you want. And you can see here about everything is fine. And then we click next. It's taking a little time to verify the domain controller operation. So that's fine. And we click install and wait until it's done. And now when it's finished, you get this uh, in your screen. You can just click close and close. And just close this one. It should restart at itself after the restart in the applying settings. We need to one more change before we are finished. We are going for the server manager again, going for the tools and then going for the DNS. Inside here we want to create a new zone but before that I need to show you here. Forward and your PNK local and then this is your IP. Remember this because we need it. Right click here on, on reserve zone and click a right click on new and we need to say primarily so 
to all DNS servers running on the domain controller, yes, and IPv4, yes, and here in the network ID, I need to type my area ID to network. And then we allow own security dynamic updates, it's recommended, and then we say finished. And after you have clicked finished and you're going back here, you can right click here and click on new pointer. It will open up and I need to type 148, that's my IP address for this server. And then click browse and click in your domain and forward to, and then the local, and then you click down here 8001 and click OK. Now we need to see about the server is using itself as a DNS server. You can click your windows down here and now you are ready to confirm what you are doing is right. Open the use command line and use ns lookup and you can see the default server is localhost and your address is 127.0.0.1. We need to change this going for the control panel here and to the network and then on the network sharing center and then on the ethernet and properties going for your EPV4 you can see down here type in your local server 0 and 148 you can go down here again and close it down go over here and control C to close it and new lookup and now you can see that the default server is our domain control in the server so thank you for watching I, I hope you enjoyed this time I will be lovely to share more videos with you so please subscribe my channel if you have any questions please make a comments below I will try to answer them and share it with your friends add it to your playlist and just yeah like it thank you for your time and hope you to see you next time see you